competitive modern, join league, fuck with the shadow, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, we got it now. Took a second, but finally got it. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited this to be playing um, this weekend. I'm going to stream some No Ban List Modern with one of my friends. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to play some some fully fully powered up Modern Gend. And then some kind of uh, Death Shadow deck with Death Ray Chaman and Jace. I'm pretty excited about that. <clears throat> so his hand's like insane if my opponent gives me a target for this dismember on turn one. Well, I think I'm going to keep it because it's going to be able to make up for its shortcomings. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I hope you, uh, <clears throat> I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, you know, shoot me a, <clears throat> well, let me know. I put a lot of time into that. I guess not a lot of time, but like eight hours of my time into it. Which feels like a lot with how much I work. Come on, give me a target. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so we're playing against Burn. So I can go to Fed Shock to 17. Then I can go to 16, 12, 10. I think that's what we're going to do. This gets overgrown tomb. Though I might just get watery grab. Oh, um. No. Oh man, I thought I just did that. So I just want to give up on the green spells. We might not have time for the green spells, and if we draw a stub, it's going to be insane. Dismember, 16, 12, 13. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time for green spells. <coughs> Alright, that's good, because that means that our, neither of our death shadows can get bolted. I'm still having issues with five color chef. Five, I feel like I just don't draw the right half of the deck and just lose. I'm probably doing something wrong though. Well, you have that wrong half of the deck problem <clears throat> with every single black green deck, right? You know, like <clears throat> sometimes you draw like too much discard, not enough removal, or you draw sometimes you draw too much discard, not enough removal, and like that kind of screws you. Trying to burning rage, okay. Um, six, twelve, eighteen. That does it. Yeah, like all these black green decks, because you don't have like brainstorm, you always are going to have like. I draw Thought Seizes against Creature Decks, and then I draw Removal against Combo Decks. I think that the best way, I don't think that's necessarily like a five color zoo, a five color shadow problem. I think that that's more of a like, um, we don't want cut Street Wraiths and one Thought Seize. It's not necessarily a five color shadow problem. It's more a, how do I say this? We want to cut one more Thought Seize to have an Ancient Grudge. Forget Shrines. Um, it's just more of like this deck, you know, makes it supplements for it better because you're an aggressive deck. Yeah. And this deck, the shadow deck makes makes that easier, right? Because you're I wanna I, I meant to play a fourth denial and cut the stroke, one stroke, but that was a mistake. The shadow deck makes it easier because you can just turn four your opponents. You guys wanna check out something sweet? 
that my uh, wife got me for Christmas. Yeah, I had Theros thought seizes, and my wife got me four Laurelin ones. I'm so excited. Like, these just look so badass in the deck. So I, I'm super excited about these. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> are the best life. All right, we're gonna keep this. We have a discard spell on one. We got our big old death shadow. Oh, what is this? They, oh, they play. They told me to play. They put me on the play. Okay. I bought mine a couple months ago. Yep. They look so much better than the uh, than the whatever they are. The non. Um, they look so much better than the Theros ones. <clears throat> okay, so I think I want to take path. Then next turn, go Inquisition, take Boros Charm, and push the Swiss Spear. Yeah, the Theros ones just look like... My wife doesn't know a lot about magic. She tries to, you know, be a part of the game because she wants to, like, help me with my stream and stuff. But she's very she's very talented at that. Um, we're going to bobble myself to determine when I want to fetch to kill this thing. Um, <clears throat> Grim Flare. Grim Flare is probably fine because the odds are we're not going to be able to play our Death Shadow while it'll survive anything. So let's go like this. And Grim Flare will dig us for like a stub. Yeah, like my wife doesn't know a lot about magic, but even she was like. Oh no, I fetched on in response to it. We got a little early morning early morning grind going on here. Um maybe I should take a shot from this now. Just so I can get my shadow in play. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um well even my wife was like, these look way better than the other ones. Looks like my opponent's gonna wise up. If my opponent doesn't is gonna attack. Okay, we're still just gonna push this. And it's fine because I can traverse for a street wraith, but I would have liked to be playing Grim Flare at this at this time. Um That's not that's a good draw because if we if like this shadow does die, it saves us three life. And um and we can just play Tarmor Life. Yeah, I'm really hyped about these thought seasons. They just look so much cooler. Inspiring Vantage. So the opponent's got, I know, all three of their car. Unless this Meyer, they have, I can't remember if they had two Meyers or not. I'm just going to attack, because if my opponent, like, blocks and skull cracks me, I still just eat their Swift Spear. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to land a, uh, land a Tarmogoyf. Just start putting the pressure on. <clears throat> yeah, I really put a lot of time in that Reddit article. Like, I was, I have some like very pretty strong opinions about Death Shadow. Ooh. Okay, so we're just gonna escalate this with two modes. Go minus two, minus two. The problem is they're gonna cast a spell and then they can. But that's okay, because we can attack for 10. So, like, the Swift Spear is going to live through this, but we kind of do force their hand, and we'll grow our tongue belief. <clears throat> yeah, I put a lot of work into that article. 66 six, my John, of my John foiled out, but got tired of looking at it, so swap the pieces for our OGR. So, I like, I'm a huge fan of the uh, original. Um, okay, Lightning Bolt, Skull Crack. So we'll just take this because this can, wow, they didn't cast anything. Um, I'm a big fan of, like, the old Shocklands. Like, I think all of my, let me look here. Uh, 
I do. I, I have new bloodstain miners. I would like old bloodstain miners. One, two, three. Hang on, we're looking. But yeah, this was like the extent of my MTG Christmas. Besides the fact that my dad bought me, gave me some cash, so I actually bought a bundle of play points. Let me look here. Let's start this. Yeah, all of my shocklands are old and signed. Like, and these look sweet. I think. I've got one more godless shrine in my sideboard, and I have a temple guard in my, in my, I guess my trade binder slash staples binder. Yeah, I need a, uh, I need a breeding pool now because I've been playing the breeding pool recently. I don't have that one. So this hand, we get we get two redraws. At a threat, I usually really dislike like this Liliana is kind of a threat, so I'll keep it. But this hand can be pretty fragile. If we do find a threat, it's a pretty quick kill. And my opponent Mulligan, so we'll keep this. Yeah, I was really pumped. I didn't, so I went to, I went to. Uh, I think we we're playing against Valica. If I had, that was a, like probably one of the better draws. If I had to assume. From this start here. Traverse. Okay, we want traverse because that's a threat. And hopefully we get a target. Yeah, so okay, so we're playing against burn. Um what was I gonna say? I went to Grand Prix DC and I really just wasn't feeling it. I don't really know why, I just didn't really want to play magic that day. So I actually um I actually just hung out and got my got my card signed. All right, push is not bad if we're gonna be playing against Burn. Oh, I should fire up my my Nightwatch music. Okay, so here's the big question: Do we go fast? Or do we go slow? And I think the question is, the answer is we go, let me get this going on here. I would love to play Spotify, but Spotify gets, oh, you can't see the match. I didn't change it. Oops. I swear to God, I'm going to get good at this. There, sit uh. All right, I'm going to get um, probably a Blood Crypt. I'm going to get into play Tapped. All right, there's our homeboy. So we're going to play it slow, and we do kind of punish our opponent for them playing slow if we get to land this Liliana. Song requests, auto DJ. Yeah, let me know if that's too loud. I'm actually pretty excited. I'm gonna play some uh, some no ban list modern. All right, Boros Charm, you get in there, okay? I'm gonna play some no ban list modern with one of my friends. So I'm pretty excited about that on Sunday. I'm thinking I'm gonna play some kind of like punishing fire Jun deck. I don't know what they're going to play. I would assume he's going to play a combo deck, because that's kind of like his MO. So we're going to leave this uncracked. And then we're just going to shock here. That was like an extremely good draw. And then play ourselves a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I'm going to play some. So I think I'm going to play like four shamans, four elves. Four Bobs, four Goyfs, four Lilianas, and then play like a little smattering of removal with like three Grove of the Burn Willows and 
three um with three grow over the burn willows and three whatever they are uh punishing fires so i'm pretty excited about that we're gonna do that on sunday Fair thing i probably can kill my opponent this turn so it's not quite like three fetch here Nah, I probably can't kill them because I can't get green mana. Or can't get blue mana without giving them a window to bolt my shadow. So I guess I'm just going to attack with a 2-2. Because I really want to keep this in play. Attack with a 2-2. And then play a Tarmogoyf. And then next turn I should relieve. Because like 17 minus 4 is 13. This only has to be 7 to get it. And this is like, you know, how burn goes here. Like they just get handcuffed and they can't, they can never like hit me. What do you got my friend? You just got, a, you got a 12-er? Searing Blaze, my goyf. I, I'm in favor of any ban that helps fair magic. Okay, so if I stub this, five, eight. <sighs> so I keep my Tarmogoyf around, eight, 16. Tarmogoyf doesn't really matter at this point, so we're gonna let this go. Because this Team of Battle Rage is good enough. What do we got here? Skullcrack. Yeah, our opponent just overloaded our mana here. Which we're going to lose. I mean, I could have stubbed that, but they've got... I could would have had a shock to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Modern's just not, like... I had this argument with my friend that, like... Blazing Shoal would actually make the format better. He's like, well, what do you mean? And I'm like, the fact that Blazing Shoal would make it so Infect would destroy other combo decks, like, would make the format better. Like, you can't get, like, punked out by Storm. You can't get punked out by, you know, various number of different things. Like, the, it's Storm, like... And, like, it's it's just completely weak to the Fatal Push decks, you know, which would make those decks good. And it would just get rid of all kinds of bull. So I think I'm going to keep this hand because of how, like, potentially powerful it is. We draw a second land. We've got two stubs, a Shadow, and a Collective Brutality. And I think I'm going to go to 15 here off a of Watery Grave. Like, I would like to be able to play a Jun deck. I gotta take a creature here. I would like to be able to take, play a Jun deck, but like, you just can't. I don't think you can actually go to a modern tournament and have a prayer of winning with these um, older, clunkier style Jun decks. Like, and consistently win. You need to have like an incredibly. I'm probably dead now. Unless I draw like a land right here. Yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna kill me. So my opponent can kill this thing two, six ways to Sunday. This is like most time you beat burn, but like with Death Shadow, if you don't thread the needle, then you're in a lot of trouble. So draw another land. And I'm just gonna try to trade this stubborn denial for anything. Give me a land, okay. So now we can play magic at least. Okay. 
In fact, I already posted him because I'm making a comeback. I'm sure I'm sure will be the right choice, but that's a big ban. And that's big if Twin got him banned instead. I just want something to be able to, like, punish combo decks. Team or Battle Rage would be sick. And that's like something, because like Blazing Shoal is terrible against Fatal Push decks. Like in a, in a format of Fatal Push and Dot Seize, like it doesn't matter. Volts. Like yeah, we let this one go. My opponent's got a Lightning Bolt X. So I'll probably have to stub whatever my opponent casts here. And hope it's not another Bolt. I like Grim Flare a lot. Okay, Searing Blaze and Eidolon. I don't want, I don't really want. So I could take Searing Blaze. And then if my opponent plays Eidolon, 9. So I take Searing Blaze, my opponent doesn't draw a burn spell, and I play, they have to draw one mana burn spell, because I can attack for nine, which puts them at 12. Oh, I guess I still can't, like, kill them, because nine, two, 11 is 20. Wow, that sucks. Now I feel like I have to take Searing Blaze because a removal spell kills me. If I find one way to do a point of damage to myself, I can kill my opponent next turn. Yeah, I think Grim Flare is sweet. Alright, there's Eidolon. I wish I could have done one more point of damage. I guess I can't. So, like, how do I... This sucks. So, I can just go minus on this. But yeah, this is just, like, kind of awkward. All right. Top deck of four damager. All right, I don't want to sweep. Yeah, I like Grimflare a lot right now. I think there's a lot of uninteractive combo decks and you just like need a threat that is really important. And Grimflare is much better in post board games because post board games, they bring in a lot of removal and they blank your Tarmogoyfs. And you want to make it so that you're, you have another threat at least. And like Wild Grim Flare is still not very good when there's no graveyard hate. If your opponent's wasting cards to graveyard hate, and you're still like getting there with your Grim Flare, rebuilding Delirium, getting your voice larger while digging to interaction. I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go check on my wife. She's sick, so I'm babysitting today. So I'll be right back. She's currently sleeping. I definitely should cut, which I'm gonna do here, in one of my previous, let me go back to this. I should have, I, I meant to make this disdainful stroke another stubborn denial, 
in the sideboard, just have four in the deck. So I don't think I can keep this hand. I don't have like a threat or anything that I can cast. So we really want Death Shadow also. Alright, this hand's not much better, but it's got two lands at least. One, two, three. I want to keep that because it could end up becoming a Death Shadow at some point. Yeah, so I played in a... Uh, I played, I got like 18th in a moto, in a, in a modern challenge. Missed top 16 on breakers. And I played one Grim Flare and found it to be like, just like the stones. All right, now we gotta figure out a game plan here. Okay, so there's our homeboy. So, we just pass. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw a big man, big man Shadow Meister. Now I gotta think about my sequencing here and how much damage I want to take. Hopefully this is like a play here. What do you got? So if we kill this, fetch a basic, push this, then go get breeding pool. I go to 18, then to 14, right? My Tarmogoyf is a 5, six, or 4, 5. Yeah, I think that's... We are going to want to play this Death Shadow eventually, but I think that we, there's no need for us to, like, go super fast because the games against Burn slow down. They're going to have paths and deflecting palms. It is going to suck if my opponent has a Eidolon, okay. Okay, so Fetch Shock. So I actually can get my Death Shadow into play by like fetching a Black Source. No, I can't because I use my Fatal Push. So then, yeah, I'm going to go get Breeding Pool. Get Homeboy into play. Then we're going to look to put some pressure on our opponent. Because I can theoretically play Death Shadow and... Okay, Rift Bolt's suspended. I can play like Death Shadow and Tarmal Wave next turn. Or Death Shadow and uh, Abrupt Decay next turn, if that's right. And I don't know if it's going to be. I'm going to have to like really calculate. I'll probably have to like dig in for this one. Okay, a lot of spike me. Ooh, okay. So 10, 7, makes the Goyf huge. Yeah, I think we're just going to go like escalate with three modes. I'm going to ditch both of these. Take this helix. So now. Oh, my opponent's Dobbs. Nice. Nice. I don't think my opponent has a draw. Yeah, they're just, just like in response to the Rift Bowl. They're like, whatever, we're out. 14 viewers. I hope everyone's having a fantastic early morning today on this Friday. I don't know if you're all going to work or not. I am not going to work. I am over that today. Let's get this skin back in here. There's a couple of overhauls that I might change up in here. Like, I might cut, like, my deck's pretty weak to fair matchups. Because Grimflare is not super great in fair matchups. Like, it's okay if you can get a hit in it, but that's hard. I'm thinking about maybe adding like another Lingering Souls or like a um, or a Ranger into the deck because Death Shadow's picking back up. I don't like Ranger as much against like the traditional Abzan decks or against the traditional like Abzan, Jun, Grixis Control. Like the decks that play Sweepers, I don't really like Ranger, but I do think Ranger's the truth. 
than like the mirrors. And I could also like play a hazard, which is, you know, some another option. Home office for the day, but that's usually a thing for me. Spend more time working at home than at the office. I don't have the discipline for that. Like you're you're an absolute champ. My wife's like that. So what am I read it? You're on holidays, sad man. Nice. Delicious, delicious. They're all delicious. So someone in my when they were they responded to my article said that I should try to move this godless shrine to the main deck to to fetch up another shot. Man. Wow, what a heater, dude. So we get Blood Crypt on one, Breeding Pool on two. There are a few things that make me more excited than when playing a discard deck than my opponent Mulligans. Like it really, it really is a delight. Dude, so give me, somebody give me some ideas about how I build this no ban list. Okay, oh wow, so we're playing against... Okay, so we've got two ether vials, so we're just not going to worry about that. They put a card on top, so I'm going to guess the card they put on top is like a removal spell or something to turn on this Wasteland Strangler, but I think we're just going to take this Displacer. Um, I'm pretty excited for this no-ban list. Uh, um, caves, vial, this no-ban list modern setup. That's a pretty good draw. So let's go here. A Leon and Arbiter. All right, so let's take this Arbiter, and I think I'm just gonna go get Breeding Pool and Traverse for a basic. Like, yes, it turns one of my opponent's lands into Strip Mine, but if they don't do that, then it's going to make my, uh, I'm gonna go play Liliana next turn, and on an open board, Liliana should be gassed. Yeah, I'm not going to play Storm, but I think one of my friends might play Storm. I'm going to play two Deathrite Shaman decks. Okay, nice. So I think I'm actually going to discard the uh, the Rage. Because there's a chance that he hits this red source. We'll see. Like, I definitely could get, like, hammered. I plan on... So I plan on building the sideboard of my deck. I'm going to play against two people. And I'm pretty sure one of them is going to play a combo deck, and the other one's going to play two Jace decks. Ugh. I'm going to ditch this stub. My opponent's got the Wasteland Strangler still. Yeah. I'm going to play... So my opponent's still got Wasteland Strangler. That's the only, only card. Okay. So I'm definitely... Um, I want to play, I can't even, I can't even speak. Um, I really want to play Punishing Fire. I'm going to play, I'm going to build like a Punishing Fire Jund deck with Deathrite Shaman and Bloodbraid Elf and put like a bunch of side, bunch of combo hate in my sideboard, like no fair deck. So I think I'm going to actually discard this bobble. Because it lets me keep my um, keep my Death Shadow and my Dismember to turn on the Death Shadow. Even though I lose like a redraw, this kind of sucks. But it also turns on Delirium. Yes, the Oakland Elves, I would assume, is very good. So I'm just going to snap Dismember this thing. Hopefully they get lazy and just main phase this. I like this ENT deck a lot. Alright, so we're going to pay... All right, so we're going to be able to either ult our Liliana or go one more turn with it, depending on, you know, what we fancy. But I think I think I'm going to put, like, two Collective Brutalities. I'm going to feel real bad if this is a path, and I don't. Like, is it worth plussing? I guess we had the Liliana anyway, so if it's a path that, like, we're still in the driver's seat. Okay. I'm going to leave this probably uncracked or get like an overgrown tomb so my opponent can't cut me off green. I'm waking up now. Now we're starting to fire on all cylinders here. Um, 
I think he's going to play, like, one of my friends, I think he's going to play like a Jeskai Ascendancy deck and might play a Storm deck. And then another one of my friends is probably going to play like a Splinter Twin deck and a Blue White Red deck. I'm going to fetch my upkeep. Get an Overgrown Tomb, because I'd rather just have not a Blue, because we only have one more stub in our deck. So this is kind of like a weak. Um, I guess we go like here. The vials don't matter. Probably want to jam the classic a lot of abrupt decays list. I might do that. Like I might just not play Fatal Push because I've got Punishing Fire for little creatures. Um, I don't really know how I want to split this. I kind of want to like incentivize my opponent to keep a pile that can't cast Path to Exile or have to Ghost Quarter their own land. Which is like marginal, but I would just rather see them like keep this pile instead of this pile. Because like I think Path's one of their big outs. Um and then I'm gonna play a Death Shadow deck with Death Rite Shaman and Jace in it. Which I'm pretty like I'm super excited about that deck. It's just going to play Bug Shadow. I don't think I'm going to play... Wow. Okay, it's plus on this. I don't think I'm going to play anything super special. Just play, like... Um... Like, four Tom Glyphs, Four Death Shadows. Four, um... Four Death Rite Shamans. Four Street Wraiths. And then play, like, some Pushes, some Counter Magic, some Lilianas, and some Jaces. I think, I think that's, that's the game plan. I probably should at least take a draw step. Like, you can draw Flicker Wisp and still be in business. And I use business lightly, but, like, it could happen. Detax, play pro. Oh, play Probe. I completely forgot about Probe. Oh, wow. I'm not to put Probes in my deck. Oh, my God. I 100% forgot about that. Archmage, how you doing? Yeah, we're here. We're here for a little bit today. So, what do I want to do? I don't remember how I have board against this deck. I like this. I like this. Because he has quite a bit of... I guess he doesn't have a lot of X1s. I want the Pulse. No, no work today. I, I put in my hours already. So, check this out. I was... Uh, I live in Northern Virginia. And at noon, I had this client that I was like, I gave them a call. Wow, did I already like even out here? I gotta make sure this is right, but I'll do it after my story. Um, and I called them and I was like, hey, I'll come next week for sampling. And they were like, okay, okay, that's cool. Or, you know, and then, no, they were like, I called my lab and said we were going next week for sampling because this week was like too rough and I was supposed to go on Thursday, Friday, so I go to a wedding in New Jersey. But then my client goes like, we need this stuff now. So I have to leave Northern Virginia at noon, get to Delaware near Philadelphia, do all of my samples, and then run to the lab that's staying open for me to hand them in, then come back Thursday morning and do that all again, and then get them in there. It was like, I didn't even bring, like I ended up stopping at like CVS and grabbing some new clothes and deodorant and toothbrushes. Like I just left because the time frame was just too like that, that that's part of consulting though like when you work when you have to work you have to work um i think i'm just gonna submit i don't really like stubs um like lingering souls is kind of meh but yeah it was like it put a put kind of a damper in my day but at least it makes it so that i can stay home today and take care of my wife i have a little bit of work to do Ooh, another MTG haul that I got for Christmas. I got this new, this new uh, Logtech webcam. If my webcam looks better. And then also for all the people that just got here, I have the greatest wife of all time. She got me Lorwyn Thought Seizes. She was uh, she was actually picking on me a little bit because. You all sound like you got the white plague. I'm good right now. I think I'm a little snotty, but I don't feel bad. Wow, this is a heater. If we draw another death, right? If we draw another death shadow, that would be sick. 
Already did, my friend. Already locked her down. So I don't mind drawing another land, so I'm actually just going to cycle before this. So we're going to get Overgrown Tomb because we want to, uh, we, we just want to, like, get that land. And we'll probably get another Overgrown Tomb with this one so our opponent can't, like, waste us off any colors. So we currently can't deal with this Leonin Arbiter, which we pretty much have to take this turn. And then next turn I probably have to take, like, Path and, um... I could take Path Push, but then they, if they draw an untapped land, well, they can just do that next turn. So I have to take Thought Not Seer Push. Now. Ooh, that's... This is gas. So then I drew a double temple. I kind of want to get my Planeswalker out next turn. I'm going to get just another Overgrown Tomb. And I'd probably have to, like... Be a bit more conservative in my life total moving forward. <laughs> um, yeah, she got me these four overgrown thoughts. These these, these thoughts these are so much better. Like she doesn't play a lot of magic, but she was like, oh, that was a pretty good rip. That was a pretty good rip, and it turns on delirium. One two. I'm just gonna do this now because my opponent could go could rip a. A um, uh, Eldrazi Displacer, and then play Temple Displacer, and then be able to protect the Thalia. She asked me about that actually. Yeah, I was like, "Do you want the Iconic Masters one?" I'm like, "Well, I don't really like because like it's amazing. It's like, so I I go for my preferred art when it comes to cards. I prefer the art on um, like New Tarmor Life. I like New Tarmor Life much better than Old Tarmor Life." Okay, so my opponent's got a path still in hand, which is fine. Like, we're going to be able to fight through that. Oh, okay. God, this deck just rips so... These Death Shadow decks just draw so amazingly. I should have gotten... I guess I could have traversed for a fetch land, but, like, that seems pretty mopey when we at least could just be 5-5s. Five five. The art is the art on the new Tarmogoyf is so sweet, and then the flavor text is awesome too. Like that's what I like also. Like the flavor text is what I'm about too. Like what doesn't grow dies, and what dies grows the Tarmogoyf. Like that's that's like got my heart. Okay, opponent goes quarters me. That's sweet. Now send a message. Attack here. So this is kind of weird. I don't like the Future Sight border either, but I kind of want to go get Future Sight Street Wraiths because, like, Street Wraith isn't a real magic card, and I would like my Street Wraith to look weird, if that makes sense. Oh man, we're 45 minutes in. We're about to be three matches into this league. Modern's great. Yeah, I kind of like the Future Sight Street Wraiths. I think it just looks more badass. So, okay, so that's like, I guess I could have like Inquisition first, because this could be an Aven Mind Sensor. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Didn't even, like, we, we've been we've been debating Tarmogoyfs so much that I didn't even notice this, this little shamble, little shambler. Little Shamblinator. Hmm. Maybe that was weird. I guess we're just traverse for another homeless. Also, okay, can we all like it is after Christmas. If you are in this chat and have not seen Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know that either. If you, like, we're gonna wait until the next match. In the next match, you can. We're gonna talk about Star Wars. At the beginning of the next match. So if I go Liliana minus get back Street Wraith, okay. So I'm gonna check on my wife. If you're in the chat and we come back, we're gonna, we're gonna discuss Star Wars with spoilers. So 
Like, we, we're giving you a fair warning here. Time to mute and play some jazz music. If I, if you can link me, Blue Sky ninety two. If you can link me to a copyright free jazz list, I will, I will play jazz music. I like jazz music. I like jazz music and classical music. I would like to play like music that's more about my own, but, but like the copyrights is what hard. And I like to, I put. I guess it's time for a good plug. Oh, time to mute indeed. Did not have, yeah, I guess you're talking about there. Okay, so let's jump back into it. I'll type in chat when we're done. I guess here, hang on. Okay, so what I really, there were two things. I liked the Star Wars movie. And I think I liked Star Wars because I am a really like big fan of Star Wars in general. But I can see where a bunch of hardcore critics didn't like it. What I, what I really don't like is I'm no longer invested in Rey. Like there's nothing about Rey that gets me excited because she's average or that's what they've said so far. They could set up some really sweet switch around where like, like Kylo was lying. Yeah. So make sure you keep the, uh, keep the, it, like the chatting towards me free of star Wars stuff because there are people that are watching also. So you can like tweet me, email me. I think that's all down in my, thing about it um sounds good um like i'm no longer invested in ray because ray is like not cool you know um mtg cold brewingo you can check out you can check out the stream decker also i should disable that from nightbot um like i'm oh we're playing shadow mirror sweet i'm no longer ex like excited about ray um Whispering on Twitch is fine too. Yeah. Um, okay, playing a five color mirror, sweet. Um I'm no longer I no longer care about Ray because she's average. She's just like there's nothing sweet about her. They might they could switch that in the next movie, which would be pretty cool. Uh we don't want that. So let's let's go get an overgrown tomb. Cycle this. And I'm not going to traverse for a land because that's just super mopey in this matchup. Um, I'm no longer excited about Ray. I'm no longer... Uh, I really like what's going on with Kylo a little bit. Kylo is my favorite character so far. Well, that's an aggressive shot there. Let's hit this here. Like, I'm no longer excited about Ray. Um, I really like Kylo's character. But I just don't like any of the other characters very much. So that that's kind of where I'm at. The characters were lacking. I liked. I thought they could have done something really cool, like when when.
Kylo killed Snook, who's just not important. Like, Snook doesn't do anything. When Kylo killed um, Snook, they could have kept Rey on the same team. Okay, so now we actually have to traverse for a basic and then dismember this Tongue Goyf. And does Goyf grow? God damn it, Goyf grows. That was not good. So now we'll just pass. Our opponent's gonna. Oh no, no, no. I just comp I just made a mistake and compounded it because we're talking about Death Chat. We're talking about Star Wars. Um, I'm just not excited for the next movies. Like, I'm just not. I'm not excited at all. Yeah, this sucks because I just made a mistake talking and compounded it. So that's what we're gonna. I don't know what you mean exactly, but I like the way they handle the story somewhat. Okay, hang on. So I'm actually just going to end the spoilers here because it takes away too much of my game. Yeah, so I'm just going to, like, it takes away too much from my game, which sucks. Because, like, I wasn't paying attention. All in all, I think it's worth a watch, and I think everybody should go watch it. And then you should tweet me what you think about it. I agree with what you said, Archmage. So take my Liliana. So I actually can attack, I can uh, inquisition my opponents here, look to take a removal spell. Okay, so don't, don't play like something big and scary. Yes. It's totally it's totally legit to be on stomping ground, I think. If you like this makes me think that my opponent has a higher density of terminates in their deck. My opponent's really aggressive with their life total. Oh, well, that makes sense. Okay. So I Inquisition my opponent, play Death Shadow, shock myself. Alternatively, that signals maybe more battle rages. I, I think you can only play two battle rages, really, because you don't want, like, unless you draw, like, play, like, 11 creatures, maybe. So I Inquisition, play Death Shadow, shock myself to seven, dismember something, which then puts me dead to Tarmogoyf. So I might only be able to play... Yeah, I literally think that because I because I like didn't Inquisition last turn, that unless I go get two Death Shadows, I can go get two Death Shadows, which is probably my best line of play and make my opponent have two removal spells. So two Death Shadows, block this, take five, go to two, it lives through it. Yeah, I think that's where we are here. We're just going to hope our opponent doesn't team or battle rage us. We had such a promising start. Yeah, that's totally legit, Blue Sky 92. But then, I guess I could have done that, right? Let me think. I couldn't dismember and do that. So, okay, so there's the Fatal Push. If they don't have another Fatal Push, I can just block this. But they had to terminate, yeah. So we were dead either way there because I couldn't dismember. He had because they had two pieces of removal, which was my mistake because I didn't inquisition that turn earlier. So, a pending, hoping they didn't top deck all this stuff. But they couldn't top deck all of it because it was two draw steps. So let's go here. Um. I don't like rages. So there's 18. I have to cut one thing. Um, I'm going to cut a street wraith. And then here's what we're going to do. Some people like to cut dismember, but dismember does what you want it to do in combat. And did I bring in the goddess shrine? Yes. Yeah, so let's submit this. Yes. 
But Star Wars is good. Everybody should go see it. Maybe I'll do like a write-up for this channel about Star Wars. My, my opinions of Star Wars. Most people were pretty nice about my article. Like, I'm not a super... Um, I'm not a super good writer. You know, it's just like part of something that I struggle with. Okay, so I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to go fetch Overgrown Tomb and then bobble my opponent. Or I might bobble myself and if there's a land on top, then I'll Inquisition. If there's not a land on top, then I might Traverse. Let's see what we're drawing. Grim Flare. I guess I'm just going to do... I mean, it's so mopey traversing for lands. Especially my opponent's weak hand here. So we'll get rid of this Liliana. And now we just got to hope that we hit... If we hit a land... If we hit a land drop, then we should, we should be able to win this game. My opponent kept a loose one. I try not to keep four landers in this matchup. Like, you, like my opponent's got two spells against... You know, my whole hand. Um, it's on Reddit. Like, I'm not a super good... Yeah, I'm not a super good writer. I have a lot of good ideas, but I don't write very well. Like, I just miss... Like, I just don't have very good grammar. So they have a card on top they wanted to keep. They don't have this bobble land. Now I don't mind here traversing for a land and just not playing Grim Flare anyways. Because now we get to sink our opponent's mana. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Because our opponent wastes this fatal push. <laughs> like I have a lot of grammatical problems in my writing. And that's like part of the reason that I started streaming and I used to write a lot is that I wanted to just improve as a whole, I wanted to improve my, like, my communication skills for my job, for, like, a professional environment. All right, what do we got, sir? I really would like to set up a hit with this Grim Flare. If we can do that. Oh, we'll get some more Kofefe. So my opponent push hit me for uh, I push and they hit me for six. I go to eleven. I think I'm just gonna decay this, keep my life total high. The shadow's gonna turn on eventually. If my opponent lands a Liliana, it's going to be kind of annoying, but I'll be able to just pitch the souls and pressure it that way. Yeah, I had a lot of people asking me, like, why I do what I do with Death Shadow, and I wanted to, I don't know, give some method to the madness. So that's another Bloodstained Mire. So they drew that. So they said, we still know three other five cards. Hopefully this isn't a Lingering Souls. This looks like it's a Lingering Souls. If we draw a land, though. We're in good shape. Give me a land off the top. Give me a land. That's like almost a land. That's not terrible because now I get to take the push. And then this Grim Flare will be able to chew through the Lingering Souls tokens. If I draw a land next turn, I can go Flare and Shadow, which is pretty good. 17 viewers, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Oh, that was so savage. Look at that, we got our first Twitch alert. Radio7 has subscribed, that's two months in a row. Super excited, my friend. 
I appreciate you. How was your holiday, sir? So they took my last hope, which is sad panda. So we're in good shape. If we draw land, we can go double threat, then we're good. And they probably play a Vern Catacombs. Mine was great. You want to see something sweet, Radio? God, that sucks. We're still going to play our homeboy. You want to see something wicked sweet, Radio? You want to check out what my wife got me for Christmas? Wife got me four Lorwyn Thought Seasons. They're even moderately played, which is how I like them, because you know that they've seen some battle. I also got a, um, I got a new camera. Yeah, dude, they're awesome. I have the best, I have the best MTG wife ever. Roan, dude, it's, it's the, it's the pepperoni cut from the buffalo, my friend. So this means they probably don't have a removal spell. Wow, okay, so they're just coming in. So I'm going to assume that they have a removal spell. Or more lingering souls. Okay. So let's get in first. They can't just. Alright. This has got to die, right? Oh, wow. They're going to let us set our draw. And I'm just going to play Death Shadow and Tom Wife. If, like, I'm going to sandbag my lingering souls. Alright, we don't want any of these. The value. I gifted myself the living extra clothing. I'm gonna try it out after the first time. That deck looks sweet, Radio. Oop, my wife is stirring. Okay, so Decay the Shadow. Which is dangerous. They should have decayed this Grim Flare. Because now I can just like this Grim Flare is gonna like trample over these spirits and it's gonna provide me a lot of card advantage. So my opponent, okay. What could this I guess I'm gonna die. You know, if my opponent top deck a little souls, I guess I'm gonna die. Build up funds and MTGO to stop renting for mana traders. Nice. That's card advantage, right there. Okay. So now I think I just have to start stabilizing the board here. Playing my own. Lingering Souls to just kind of hold out. We know our opponent's got a Blood Crypt. So I'm just going to trade off two souls. The caveat is I can't play Modern anymore on mine. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so we trade two of these. Even though this makes like Liliana kind of savage, but I don't really want to go down too low in life totals. Life total, I mean. Okay, Bobble. That's loose. To Bobble right then. Cracking that Bobble on my turn seems pretty egregious. Pop and Commander are still cool. Saturday or Sunday challenge. Yep. Gives you options. Okay. So I can play Liliana. Now I'm just going to start flashing back on Souls. And hopefully my opponent doesn't team or battle rage me out of the game here. It's a slush to a colonnade train. I'm definitely going to try look to trade my Lingering Souls. What did we trade for players? A stub and something else? Probably like a removal spell, Echo Pop, out, like a Terminate. I don't I don't play any Terminates. I just play um, Dismember, because I, I want the Red Splash to be light. I talk about all that in my sweet little Death Shadow thing that I wrote about. 
people are tweeting at me about why I do what I do. And that is why. So this Liliana should be great. I would like my own Death Shadow to be able to just put my opponent in the Abyss. So I am just going to EX. Just start to chew through these Lingering Souls. I should have two Lingering Souls in my graveyard. I don't? What? Oh, because I traded. Okay. Um, should I play? I probably should play this so that I can go Lingering Souls and Tarmogoyf next turn. My opponent rips their own last help. This is rough. And I'm free to discard this Street Wraith. What sucks is I don't really see how I'm going to start attacking through these Death Shadows. Like, if I hit a removal spell, I should be good. And then I can attack with, like, Grim Flare. Because if I attack with Grim Flare... <clears throat> okay, that's bad. So I'm, I'm going to block... Probably. So my opponent's got a street wraith. I'm in a lot of trouble. But if they don't, then I'm in pretty good shape. So we're just going to go here, here, and there. Don't street wraith me. Okay. Don't lingering souls me. Ugh. Lingering Souls is just savage. Now I'm just dead because I can only flash back, block two of these. I need to rip my Maelstrom Pulse and then that still kills me. And again, I lost this because I punted the first matchup when we were all excited about Star Wars. Meyer, flashback, one, two. Bing, bing, block, one, two. Take two, yep. Ugh, that was gross. That was G R O S. <sighs> I'll be right back. There. Failure is the greatest teacher. <laughs> Okay. 
All right. Failure is the greatest teacher. Write them your hat. Okay, sure, sure, sure not. All right, let's get this back up here. Yeah, I have to get taxing pro to my Death Shadow deck. I can't wait for this no ban stream on on Sunday. Yeah, dude, we're doing a we're doing a no ban stream on Sunday. I'm playing with two friends. Um, I think that shadow is though. Like, I get death rate shaman. I get Death Ray Shaman, I get Gitaxian Probe, and I get Jace. I'm also gonna build fully, um, fully built up, uh, like full power gen. I'm gonna play Blood Ray Elf, Death Ray Shaman, Punishing Fire. And I think, and then I'm gonna put a bunch of combo hate in my sideboard, removal spells and like engineered explosives for elves. And then two, one of my friends, I'm pretty sure is gonna play two combo decks. I think they're gonna play Ascendancy and Storm. And then another one of my friends, I think, is going to play Twin and then Blue, White, Red. So they want to play against two Jace decks and two combo decks. So. This full power is not that powerful. It might be. Yeah, you might you might be right. But, like, I want to cast Deathrite Challenge. I want to turn to Liliana somebody. I want, I want my Birds of Paradise to also be able to kill people. Yeah, I'd want to play this sweet. Turn one Thalia is a real thing. You talking about with Chromox? So this hand is not very good, but I think I'm going to keep it because the Grim Flare can dig me to interaction. This hand's pretty decent against a combo deck because of Flare, but like not good otherwise. And we get a bunch of different looks at some cards here. I don't like keeping four landers, but I tend to like, I tend to be okay with it if I have a Grim Flare. Because Flare is like that good. DNT. I'm just gonna take that because it's a spell. I guess I could have waited. I think I am going to fetch here because I really just if I draw another land, I'm like dead. I'm gonna get a water grave because I've got six spells that I can cast off of it. Which will land? God, please be an unfair deck. Forest. Okay. That's that that could be worse. God, dude. Can you tell we only play 18 of them? Um, breeding pool. At least flare will be turned on next turn. Like I'm gonna be able to about to case something and then flare. Stoneforge Mystery is pretty good. Well, Grimflare might be able to poke. Yeah, it will be able to. Since Elves is pretty good. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you get Jet. Ooh, you get Jet. Completely forgot about that. Alright, so we're just going to Merc this Devoted Druid. And we're probably going to get, like, company on next turn. As long as we... Alright, that's, that's pretty good. But I think we're still just going to go... Hit this. And then I'm going to fetch a Tap Land. Hopefully we just don't get company next turn. You can jet. I can play jet in my in my uh, whatever it is, my gen deck. Do you main deck that? Is that a main deckable? I wonder if I can main. I probably can main deck it. I remember when Magic League was still thriving before the inception of Modern. There was a format that was kind of like Modern. We practically like a blade control. Huh. All right. Do we just want Tarma Voice for days, or do we want more interaction? I think I, I think I kind of just want more interaction or Death Shadow. <clears throat> as weird as this sounds, like I don't think a four or five that gets chump blocked is going to be that good for me. I don't know if Jay's main deck will that format. I would assume no. I feel like a Savage just binning all these, but I kind of want to bin all of them and play Liliana next turn. Yeah. Uh.
I guess I'll keep one, and then if my opponent gives me a good Liliana turn, I'll Edict, but like if they don't, then I'll play Tarn Life. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I should play I definitely need to put a couple jets in my format, my sideboard. I'm really excited to play Death Shadow. Turn two sword. Felt pretty powerful. Yep, I can see that. Oh, we're gonna get companied. I mean we kinda knew that was happening. Okay. So now I probably just play Tarmogoyf. Because we don't have a good Liliana turn. And I'll play a tap land just to keep my like life total high. I'm looking for like a team or battle rage. That is what the doctor wants. Next turn I can edict the blocker and do some shenanigans. Alright, we don't want any of these. Then we're just gonna play this overgrown tune tapped. Yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. I don't know. The fact that my opponent's been pinging themselves quite a bit off of these Horizon Canopies is sweet. We totally could just die here, though. Missouri. And Elvis Arc Druid. All right, so we're not dead. A lot of rituals is pretty good against that. Yeah. All right, so I need like a removal spell. It's so sad. So if I go edict, because they can pump this one, two, they can pump this like a million times and just murk me. I think I'm just dead, right? Like edict, they get rid of this. This taps for four. This taps for two. For if I attack with both, they have to jump here, but then they can regen. Alternatively, to be honest, everyone is talking about Storm and completely ignoring Hypergenesis. Hypergenesis, man. One, two, three, four. Eat at this. They probably sack like this. Attack, block, chump. Wow, this sucks. What happens if I just... Because they're going to be able to overrun twice. Four. Four. Five. Six, seven. Eight. They get trample. So six. These just attack here. But I'm assuming one of these dies. So two attacks. I guess we can survive through that. I don't know. We're just kind of like yolo in it here. At least if I attack with this, my opponent can't tap these Horizon Canopies. And this can hopefully find me something. Untap Devoted Druid. Oh, did I miss this? One, two, no. No, I didn't miss this. Oh yeah, I'm going to kill both of these. This is awesome. Oh, regenerate. Oh, I'm not going to kill either of these. Oh, this is gross. Oh, this is so gross. And we just didn't draw any interaction. I definitely think that... I don't think Hypergenesis would be, like, that great, right? Like, how is Hypergenesis being a Death Shadow deck? Like, between eight discard spells and Stubborn Denials. That's what I'm excited about. Like, I think with Probe, I think it's going to be sweet. I, I completely forgot. I'm going to have to, like, cut a Tarmogoyf or something like that. I'm just going to shave down on things. Probably just, like, shave. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do to get this deck a little more consistent. I'm assuming I'm dead. Because this right here is like five. 
overrun, block, take 5, 10. This is defender, can this attack? This can attack, what a joke. What an absolute joke. If my opponent goes for it and I have anything, they just die. Hex Depths. I never played Hex Depths. This is some serious stones from our opponent. Oh, no, 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 this isn't, because they can just do it. Because this even... I guess even this gets them... Kills them through a removal spell. Because if I blocked here, yeah. Oh, that was sad. That had extra rounds to rest thoughts using counters. I, I, I didn't play during extended, but I'm, I'm sure that it probably hex depths. Did it have a clock? Well, yes, that's it's like, yeah, it's it's that that that's the draw, right? So we want this, we want this, this, and this, and we probably want this. I don't want veils. Card is egregious. Um. I'm gonna cut a ton of life. Submit like this. I don't know, I'm excited. I am super excited. I gotta make this. Cause like, this right here was, like, I kind of wanted to do, cause I, ha I have a credit limit as well, which is like a little rough, but I was gonna build like, start with this but I guess my no band shadow this is what I uh, this is what I'm closest to because I don't have the cards rented quite yet and then it was gonna be like one watery grave um and then I was gonna play two jaces and four shamans but now I have to like shave a couple cards for probe I don't know what I will do but I will figure it out I think I can just play a shadow deck, right? Like, I mean, death right, the death shadow decks are good. I don't want to keep this. Death right shadow, death, death shadow decks are good against combo decks, and like, if you just superpower the death, the combo decks, and superpower the shadow decks, I think we should be fine, right? I would really love to cube, but my opponent always has turn three wins, and I don't. Cubing is frustrating. I think I think the power. I like I like Legacy Cube much more than Power Cube. Okay, so we're gonna do this before fetching because we would not mind a land. Go get oh, excuse me. Go get Overgrown Tomb. Bobble my opponent. I really want to land this Liliana. Airfro, how you doing? How was your? Uh, how was your? Christmas, if that's what if that's what you're into. Razor Verge, stick it on top. Path, Metal Sentinel, Devoted Druid. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this. I think I'm gonna take the Devoted Druid, as sad as that sounds, because it's gonna let them company quicker. Alternatively, I can take Path to Exile, and then have a Death Shadow next turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Path to We're going to be aggressive here. I love that Classic John is coming back featuring Rattler and Rattle Master as Red Lingering Souls. Yeah, Rattle Master is a great card in that deck. We do a stub, which is sweet. That means we got this countered. We have the check mark on this thing. So let's... Extended decks. I'll look into that. So this definitely gets watery grave. And then we play our homeboy. Because Death Shadow is my homeboy. And then I'm just gonna push this and I might just traverse for like another land or traverse for a street rape next turn. Because I do want to get this stub turned on. This thing's got to die, though. Ooh. 
Well, now give me a land. That's not bad. So now I'm definitely going to go get a land because it's just going to like open up my turn. Good, played some BDO, my Christmas was good, Rewatched Star Wars before watching 8, again, 10 year wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations on your wedding anniversary, my friend. That's awesome. My Christmas was sweet. I don't know if I would play Ponder, Park Sh Shackled in. Like, I don't think I need it, because I want to play the Traverse. Airfro, you want to check out what my wife got me for Christmas? That right there. She got me some Lorwyn Thoughtseizes. The best, best wife ever. Okay, so what am I doing? Again, I'm attacking and I'm inquisitioning something. Because I know they're three cards. Yeah, so we're just like, we're just serving. Welcome to the Not Shitty Thoughtseizes Club. It's an honor. Well, Ponder's insane. I just don't know if that's like what the deck wants to do when you're already playing, um, like we're already playing uh, Death Shadow. You're already playing Street Wraith Bobble and Probe to make the deck smaller. Right? Like if I was playing Grixis Shadow, I probably would play Ponder. But I want to play me some some Soul Tie Shadow. Yeah, I agree. So I'm actually just going to merc this EOT. Do I want to take this shot? Five. I don't think I do. So I'm actually just going to hit this right now. Hopefully my opponent lets it go. And then I would not mind drawing Another nettle sentinel. Okay, so our opponent's got just company for return centaur. I'm I'm unfamiliar with the card, my friend. That was a pretty fantastic draw. So let's go here. I'm just gonna get a basic, and then I'm gonna attack so that I can get my shot in, and then I'm gonna tick up on this old self of spirit here. We're in standard from a little while ago. Pushing the net null is wrong. It could be. Like, I'm interacting with Chad a bit here, so we aren't necessarily playing super tight. But I wanted to just push the net null to save me two damage, knowing that this last hope could deal with this selfless spirit. And they, there's nothing that they could do. They couldn't company on that turn. The option to keep spirit. Yeah, I know. I get, like, I wanted to go like this. Like, this is what I, how I wanted to deal with the spirit. Like this is what I wanted to do here. Like I did. Like I understand. I gave them the option. Heritage Druid. Return Centaur was the most almost unplayable and limited. Nice. Creature two four zombie. When this Centaur does a battlefield target player puts top four cards of his or library into a graveyard. I like how you admit it, Airfro. Or not, Air for Archmage. Alright, let's check out what our opponent's cooking with next. Next, uh. Next round. Next turn, I guess. Alright, that's. That's a little gross. The old Renegade Leader. Well, let's find an answer to that thing. My opponent might. I mean, my opponent's gonna be in chum block mode next turn. Drafting dirtily PDX is sweet. It's annoying. Like I, we're gonna be okay if I find an answer to it. We're all starts in good shape. <clears throat> yeah, I also got this Logitech camera, which is sweet. Which is gonna make it so that I can kind of like amp up my my uh, YouTube content a little more. 
which is what you guys should check out, which is in the link below my YouTube page. I'm halfway to getting monetized, which is sweet. So on the draw, I kind of want more one mana interaction. Yeah. Like I kind of want to just like cut another one of these. Because Tarmogoy is just not very good in this matchup. Like it's not going to end the game quick enough. The pulse might be too slow. Because like it's not very often that I'm going to get like... Yeah, maybe I'll just cut this pulse. Because like the pulse seems too slow on the draw. Oh, thank you very much for the host, Airfro. That right there. That is the Roan. Yeah, I think we're going to go like this. I want more interaction. And, like, Tarmogoy is just not how I'm going to beat this deck. Baby host. Hey, all hosts matter, man. Yeah, I think I'm just going to submit this. Gorgeous is going to get, like, brick walled by a bunch of dumb, dirtily creatures. Like, how, how I win this game through combat is with, like, exhausting them of resources and then any creature does it. Or... Um, a shadow plus rage. Like we saw in the first game that I just had too much threat and not enough removal. God, Moto's tweaking out. I don't even know if we can handle it. We got ourselves a quality program here. So hands like this are so tempting because we theoretically can get Delirium and we can get a Death Shadow. Like one, two, three, four, Death Shadow. So I'm gonna keep this because we have Teamer Battle Rage. But, like, I can get this being wrong. And we get, like, a lot of manipulation with our first turn to find something to do on one. And if we find an instant or a sorcery, then this first traverses Death Shadow. The second traverses a bigger Death Shadow. Or a way to make their Death Shadow bigger. This hand, if it didn't have both Wraith and Bobo, would be low. Yes, you are, you are super right, my friend. God, how sick would a Fatal Push be? Like if it were two X either one. Yes, I, I am I am on team that. That is how we drew it up. So this here goes and gets probably breeding pool. And then we're gonna get our opponent to hit the brakes. This is I'm I'm smelling a potential turn turn three here. Like my heart my heart says I think we're gonna turn three our opponent. I think we're just gonna one shot hit him for the, on three. Okay. Let's hope our opponent doesn't just kill us next turn. Traverse. I mean, this thing might kill us, but like, if my opponent doesn't kill us next turn. It doesn't matter. So let's go get Overgrown Tomb. This can, I guess I can just get a basic because Street red, like this is my red source. Nah, we're just we're just not in that line of life. There's a very real world where we get turn three, but if we don't get turn three, our opponent gets turn three. Because we go to two next turn. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Nissa, sweet. Nice Nissa. You get a plant. Don't path this. God, you are such a jerk face. That's okay, because we have another. If we drew a stub here, I'd be or, or a fatal push, I'd be pretty hyped up. My opponent missed a land drop too. 
yeah, we are just like, we're doing it. All right, let's go here. Let's. Do we want to take it slow and get static caster shock to four? Shoot this. Because then my opponent's choked on mana. I almost think like that's right. And then we just like next turn go get Death Shadow? Yeah, dude. Cause this static caster is basically a planeswalker. Now my opponent kind of has to take their Nissa down. That'll set. Me. Okay. Land War Elves. So block, block, take two. So take one. So now I go get Shadow, play Shadow. But then next turn we're still only taking two. Well, I guess now I can just do both. So let's go here. Death Shadow. Then I'm not even gonna play a land. So now my opponent needs to find a removal spell and a way to pump this twice to kill me. Okay, Dwayne's Elite. Yeah, you got it. Again, none of this matters if I get to untap and attack with a Death Shadow. Put an 01 green plant. Okay. Best draw in my deck would be a stub. And we do this because we can hit the plant next turn and give ourselves a point on shadow. Can I play around? Oh, they are out of cards. Okay, they're good. I just to make sure I not shock myself off this delta. Yeah, opponent is super dead. Okay. Do this for funsies. And we'll bring the rage. Well, I guess I do. I don't have any mana though, so like it doesn't really do anything. Unless I have like a slaughter pack, which doesn't kill black creatures. Okay. All right, I'm gonna open up a treasure chest, then go see what my wife's up to. Also, look at that, the four one. The 4 1 hype. Okay, so let's get in here, open up a treasure chest for Radio, our sub of the day. 22 new items. We got a play point. We have 20 play points, which is sweet. We'll open up one more for the savages. All right, I'll be right back. We'll figure out if we're going to play another match or not. Another league, go see how my wife is.